It's your boy Crypto Blood, and welcome back to the channel. Do me a favor and smack that thumbs up and punch that subscribe button if you haven't already. Welcome to another episode of My Two Cents, a series I'm bringing back to CBTV that covers all non crypto related news that you should be aware of today. For all my crypto related news, jump on over to the My Two Satoshi streams done live Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday. And in today's episode, we're going to be looking at woke gone broke yet again guys vice media has filed for bankruptcy yes once valued at 5.7 billion dollars can you believe that now maybe worth less than 80 million dollars insane and it's interesting because valuetainment patrick beck over there talked about this on his show a few days ago and just listen to this clip really quickly this deception, this manipulation of the public. People are really tired of that stuff. I think Disney is suffering big time as a result of what they're doing with the wokeness injected into kids' cartoons. And people just want you to be straight with them. If yep. you're a hard left, progressive, as I call it, regressive organization, if that's your line, if, if you're an MSNBC, or just own what you're doing, own your agenda. I think a lot of these uh, oh. organizations are getting into trouble because they're trying to trick the public. Oh, this is objective journalism. It's not. People see it and then they just say, well, I'm not going to I'm not going to go here for my information hmm. because now you've been deceptive with me. I can't trust anything you're saying. I think that's been a big part of why you saw the crumble. So as you can see here, guys, this is what is going to continue to happen to all of these media outlets who's next who knows i have my assumptions let me know in the comments below who you think is next on this list to file bankruptcy i wouldn't be shocked if we saw cnn in that category at some point in the near future though they have a lot of money backing them they could still fold because they are losing ad revenue month after month after month and they can't keep bleeding like this again we're going to be looking at vice the latest casualty in the woke gone broke era that we're in we'll talk about buzzfeed as well here in a minute but want to definitely first go over the 29 year run that vice had and it was a good one ladies and gents it was definitely a good one but unfortunately it's r.i.p now they were trying to do an ipo but that is of course done data the company's lenders fortress investment group soros you hear that soros fund management and monroe capital have agreed to purchase the company for $225 million. That's only about 4% of what the company was valued at back in 2017. That is insane. A, a reduction of 98, 96% is pretty much a done deal, right? Now, is this just a overall trend in your traditional media, digital media industry? We'll talk about BuzzFeed here in a second, but MTV News even had to do a cut in their employment size cutting by 25 percent so this could be a trend that we're seeing with just traditional digital media outlets that could be the possibility but personally i think it's deeper than that it is more of a woke gone broke situation you even had tim pool talking about vice his time there he, i think he spent maybe a year there at vice and they just did not know how to recognize talent and i think the ceo really got overwhelmed and allowed under management to really spoil and ruin this company through and through along with the woke culture that didn't help either as the lady said on valuetainment people are sick and tired of hearing news that is spun so far to the left or so far to the right primarily though in today's era it's a lot of news spun too far to the left people are sick of that and they can recognize it these media outlets are playing people for dumb or acting like they are dumb when actually they're not. They can see through the nonsense. Unfortunate situation for Vice, fortunate situation for real news outlets so that they can shine. I don't think they'll ever recover from this, to be honest with you. It's very hard to get consumers trust back after misleading them for so many years. Vice again, I, you can't make this shit up. Vice is being acquired by Soros. Yes, you heard that right. Soros, you know who. The Soros behind all the other woke media agendas, Black Lives Matter, this, and just really sowing discord within the United States. And this is a guy that's not even from here. Why is this happening? That's a video for another day. And in recent weeks and months, digital newsrooms have taken huge hits. Look at BuzzFeed. Take a look at their stock down 94 percent it's near all-time low it's trading at 56 cent i wouldn't touch this with a 10-foot pole neither should you 
not giving financial advice, but neither should you. BuzzFeed News suddenly shuttered, leaving scores of extremely talented journalists without employment. Vox Media recently laid off 7% of its staff and raised money based on evaluation about half of what it was worth in 2015. So there is a trend here, no doubt. There is a trend, but BuzzFeed is another woke gone broke operation. So is the trend that all the woke gone broke digital newsrooms are getting hit and axed and going RIP? Possibly, not too sure about Vox. I don't follow Vox media much, but the common denominator here to me seems to be these left-leaning media news outlets that try to masquerade as some real independent, unbiased outlets. People are waking up and they're realizing this has to stop. This is not something that they wanna watch day in and day out. And it's unfortunate because they used to be a very good outlet, Vice Media. As one person put it, they actually went from utter clown show to legit and back to utter clown show faster than any other media outlet. Never forget that Vice got its start doing hard hitting investigative journalism. Another person said the moment that founders realized that they could sell Vice as a lifestyle brand rather than relying on content, they were doomed. They spent more time trying to persuade another massive infusion of capital through co-branding exercises with legacy media. See, this is where they went wrong. Legacy media is run by the left, ladies and gents, and they do not have the correct formula at this point. Maybe that'll change, but they are so far off bases with reality. It is disturbing. And let's not forget what Andrew Tate is doing, guys. Remember, he's promising revenge on Vice Media. As of course, you know, he allowed them to do a documentary on him and the mastermind circle. And yet, what did they do? They backstabbed him and put it out during his incarceration. The title of this documentary was called The Dangerous Rise of Andrew Tate. It was eventually sold to BBC. And the documentary really took years to make and provides victims of the former kickboxer's alleged abuse a voice and a platform to speak. Now, viewers were also given an exclusive look inside of Tate's Romanian compound. In the midst of all this, Andrew Tate alleges that Vice Media messed with the wrong person and is now paying the price. Tate took the Twitter writing, fuck with me and lost. Now to bankrupt the rest of the ops, top G. I guess you could call it karma because we all know Andrew Tate didn't have anything to do with Vice going bankrupt, but at the same time, it is somewhat karma. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think about Vice going bankrupt? Is this a byproduct of going woke to go broke? Or is it a bigger trend that we're seeing with these digital media outlets like Vice, Vox, and MTV News? Is that just a trend we're seeing? I'm personally getting sick of these paywalls for every damn article you see online now, whether it's Forbes, The Guardian, to Bloomberg, it doesn't matter. It's getting out of control. I don't know what's gonna happen here, but I think there's definitely a shift going on in media. Let me know again in the comments below. This is my two cents. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell to receive more videos like this. I'm out of here, holla.